Hey folks, you're watching Northern Outdoor Adventures. Appreciate the click on the video. Hope you enjoy what we're at today. See behind me there, we got some family in town and we're out for a Labrador ptarmigan hunt. And we're gonna have a night at the cabin, probably cook up a feed when we get back this evening. Stay tuned, hope you enjoy. Not bad, buddy. Keep going. <laughs> well, what do you think? Nothing wrong with this, is it? No, sir. It's a great time. It's a great time. I had a laugh back there, man. Yeah. He got me on the skidoo. Come there in the truck. There was a five or six ahead of her. <laughs> you see now? So I stopped. He thought was going on. So I said, I suppose they'll look. Now, if he sees me stop, they might come back, eh? Yeah. Then I said, No, I got a video. No, they're not looking back. I said, I'm going to go on. And my God, drive me along. I could have ran over them. They never moved. And then, and then uh, take off and just run and go ahead with the truck and pitch again. Unreal. Tighten you, didn't see? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we left him alone. <laughs> left him alone, Rock yeah, Murray. Yeah, Rock Murray. <laughs> 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 Tree. I'll grunt out of that. It's another four or five. Get back up on me, skidoo. Look how much snow. As soon as you steps up the skidoo, you keep on going. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Give me that. That's where the super white certainly shines.
Fine bounty. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How many is that now? Is that 20? That's what we got since we left in there? Yeah. In the previous hunting videos I've done, I got, uh, let's say, chewed out a couple of times for doing all ground shots, not giving them a chance to fly. I mean, birds are pretty tame, but I just want to say that we hunt for food. Although we do really enjoy the sport, we do love at it, but it's all about getting the food. And, you know, we try to get wing shots when we can. Some of us can hate them anyway. <laughs> but we just... Uh, Stopped here at the bottom of lot stick tower, got another seven or eight there, getting for a little ride around. We're hunting our way back to the cabin, huh? Stan's gone ahead of us. I hope we got far late. <laughs> Last trap of the season. I never come all the way up here. The other day, I took up most of them. But I knew I was coming up for a hunt and the season don't close for another few days. So uh, I said I'd get this one when I come up. I didn't want to waste gas. And last trip, last trip, last trap of the season, we got us a nice little mink. What a way to end off the 20, 23, 24 trapping season. Get this one took up now and that'll be it. Now that was a great bit of hunt. Oh, a bit tired now. I still got a couple of birds there on the snow on it to pick up. I had to get back to the cabin now and count them. I'm not exactly sure how many was there, but it's a nice little company of birds. Great bit of fun. Great bit of fun. Get these picked up now and get back to the cabin. Almost back to the cabin there now. We're about three, four kilometers from the cabin. Just killed a couple birds there. We're gonna pick them and clean them up and put on a fry for supper. <laughs> I had that much fun that time. He got to go back and give it a try too. Look, he was a bit jealous, I think. Yep. Your turn. <laughs> too well this iron evening, huh? <laughs> I got me Zolio and I got me phone. And if I have any trouble, I'll shoot and I'll give you a shout. Oh yeah, yeah, take that, it might be a good idea. I might want to take that, just in case we need to communicate about it. No problem. <laughs> Here, yeah, looking for last, just by yourself. Just by yourself? That's one. Well, that's good. Don't that's fire it close. Oh, I burn. Yeah. Don't kill him close. No less, is there? <laughs> Film cut my hand, is it? <laughs> Stan just pulled back in. I don't see too many birds, nor too many feathers. And that's a good hunter for me, Stan, boy. Skipper's cleaning up the birds we got today, there now, and uh, we're gonna throw a couple on for supper, get the fry going. I gotta go tormenting, huh? What's the report? Give her with all the birds. Uh, there's a few birds. <coughs> there's a few birds, but there's a there's an eagle chasing partridges. Yeah? I never seen see it before. I've seen them like use like after you kill them, they'd be a rounder, but I guess they eat them. Lord no see them see them chase the partridges in the air. Yes, yeah, boy. They're swerving and the partridges going in them. That's boy. Yeah, I would have looked at on video, but I didn't. Yes, sir. Maybe. My throat is gone from uh, singing. Yeah. <laughs> That's a sign of a good time, Zeke. Oh, yes. <laughs> Any uh, bigger? No, but lots of bigger. Yeah. How many cholesterol pills you got to spare?
That's me. <laughs> you got backwards, right? Hello. I managed to sneak the camera. You don't know. Northern Outdoor Adventures. Northern Outdoor Adventures. Jason Linstead. Got a great spot up here. Great cabin up here on the Esker Road, I think. Great day here in the big land. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Loves it. Can't beat it. Life here at the cabin. But we're here now visiting Jason and Mervyn. Uh, here for a couple of days, but having uh, great, uh, great hospitality. Great bit of fun, few laughs. Tell by my throat, I guess. But, uh, and we'd like to thank him. Myself and his dad are here and, you know, really enjoying it. Must say. Uh, not much snow out in, uh, in southern Labrador this year. So we had the opportunity to come in and we took it. And uh, having a great time. What a day, what a day, what a day here in the big land. Hmm. Until next time, stay safe. Folks, we got everything packed up here. Now it's time to head her home. Thanks, Stan, Malcolm Irvin, Dad, for joining me on this trip. It was an amazing one. Her stomach's going to be hurting for days from laughing. We got everything all done now. Dad's gone out to the road with one load of stuff to put in the truck, and it's time to head her home. That's all I know. Until next time, stay safe. <laughs>